Hey, what's up? In this video, we're gonna go over the Ledger hardware wallet. We're gonna go over a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started using a hardware wallet. It's very important that you use some sort of hardware wallet so you don't get hacked, you don't lose your cryptocurrency, and you have a safe place to store it. We're gonna be giving away three Ledger hardware wallets in this video, and at the, vi at the end of the video, we're gonna go over who won the $1,000 in Bitcoin from our Dubai Bitcoin giveaway contest. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so so you don't miss out on any content, giveaways, or opportunities. Let's get right into opening the box. Hey, so we're going to be opening up the ledger. This is sealed right now. I'm going to show you what's inside the box. So let's go ahead and open this. As I mentioned, we're going to be giving out uh, some ledgers for free. So I'm going to open this and then we're going to go ahead and then start it up together. So there you have the actual ledger. Let's see what else comes in the box. So you have the ledger right here. Beautiful. Then let's see what else comes. So we have the uh, USB wire to connect the ledger to the computer. And then I think this is like a wrist band that you can actually um, connect to your ledger and then hang it. And then we have the uh, recovery phrase sheets right here so you're gonna put these in safe spots we're gonna start this up together so let's go right ahead into the tutorial on how to use the ledger all right so we have our ledger plugged in right now and it's telling us to click both buttons right here to start it up so we'll click both buttons and then it says with ledger nano s side buttons to interact and control the user face configure as a new device we'll do that Choose a pin code. I'll choose a pin code very quickly. So you toggle with both buttons like left, right, and then you confirm by clicking both. So I'll just do a quick pin. Now it's asking me to write down your recovery phrase. This is uh, basically your passphrase. This is the uh, access to your funds. You never give this out. As you can see here, it says beware of phishing attacks. Ledger will never ask for your 24 words of your recovery phrase. Nobody will. If you give those out, you lose your money. So we got a couple of these sheets. They're a recovery sheet and we're going to write down our 24 words. So we'll go ahead. So word one, you can see scorpion. And then I'm gonna move ahead and write them down here and I'll meet you guys at the, uh, at the next step. So like another warning, make sure it's never stored in a digital form. You know, you wanna write it down, you wanna put it somewhere safe. You don't wanna take a picture, a screenshot. You don't wanna, you know, upload it to your Google Drive. This needs to be written down and hidden somewhere very safe. So let's, I'll, I'll meet you guys at the next step. After you've written everything down, it's going to ask you to confirm your recovery phase. So let's go ahead and then it'll ask you to confirm uh, word one. And then you'll have to confirm either all of them or just a few of them just to make sure that you've written them uh, down correctly in the right order. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I've confirmed my 24 words and the beauty of this is that your 24 words never get revealed again. So with the uh, desktop uh, wallet, you can actually view the words. So if you were to get hacked, somebody could access your 24 words and then wipe out your cryptocurrency holdings. So our device is ready and now we're gonna move forward and we're gonna actually download um, Ledger Live, I believe. So we'll go to the desktop, download for Mac, and then we'll get this started. Okay, so Ledger Live has finally downloaded. We got everything ready. Our keywords are written down. They're stored properly. So let's enter the Ledger app. So we have the Nano uh, S, I believe. First time using your Nano S, already have a recovery phrase. So let's connect our Nano S because uh, we've already went through the process. So only use recovery phrase at your device displayed when it was set up. Continue genuine check check my nano to make sure that the software uh, or firmware that i'm running is cool so allow ledger manager we're going to click both buttons as you see there allow and then let's move forward perfect very very easy 
let's move forward. So we're gonna add an account, add an account to start managing your crypto assets. And let's of course add Bitcoin uh, first because that is king. So once you add an asset, you need to check on your app. So it says checking app dependencies, please wait while we make sure you have all the required apps. So we gotta just make sure that it's uh, checking our app dependencies, app installation, and there you have it. Ledger is the most popular hardware wallet. I'm more of a fan of the Trezor. It's a lot easier to start using uh, as a beginner as well. So there you have it. So application name, Bitcoin. We're gonna add Bitcoin by double clicking. We're gonna accept that. And then we're, there we have it. As easy as that. Now you have a cold, um, so it says app version outdated. Let's open the manager and then let's update this app. Uh, so. You can see, quit the application on your phone. Quit the application right here. Okay, so we gotta update the firmware before we can start adding the app. So I have my recovery phrase handy and let's go ahead and update the firmware and then we can add our Bitcoin address. We're gonna verify the identifier to make sure the firmware is clean and we're gonna have to put in our pin code quickly, updating the ledger to make sure that everything is up to date. Okay, so we've connected, we've updated the firmware. Um, we're gonna allow ledger manager on this device. So We've allowed them and then let's install this Bitcoin app. So we're reinstalling the Bitcoin app right here and we'll probably install Ethereum as well, but let's start with the Bitcoin app and then I'll move forward into MetaMask and I'll show you how to add a hardware wallet to your MetaMask. So we can see Bitcoin portfolio. Let's move to Bitcoin. So application is ready. You have to click the two buttons for it to open, add account, we're going to add Bitcoin, continue, um, and let's go. Awesome, now this is working. So we've added the Bitcoin account and it's gonna give us an address so we can start using that and storing crypto like Bitcoin specifically on this uh, ledger. So whenever it gets going, awesome, let's add the account. So there you have it, this is our first uh, address right here that we've created that we've added on the ledger. So if we go to accounts, you can see Bitcoin. Let's receive Bitcoin uh, to this address. You can see open Bitcoin app right here. So we've opened it on the, tr on the ledger. And now we're waiting for so this is the address. So you can see QR code right here. I'm gonna send some Bitcoin and you can see the address on here as well. So I'm gonna send some Bitcoin to this uh, Trezor right now. Just a little bit of Bitcoin. And I've just sent the Bitcoin over as well. So we should see it uh, arrive. So. Let's approve that, address shared securely, done. And then we should see uh, it pop up in our portfolio. It should come any second. And as easy as that, we've managed to start our Ledger hardware wallet. We've added a Bitcoin account so we can start receiving Bitcoin. And you can see here all the other different types of uh, cryptocurrencies you guys can add. So Ethereum, so then you'll have all the Ethereum uh, ERC20 tokens, Binance Smart Chain, all the you know BP20 Binance Smart Chain tokens. And then you can see all these other tokens that you can actually actually import onto the ledger so you can start holding that uh, specific token. So we'll go back here and we're just waiting for that Bitcoin to pop up. Uh, just wanted, yeah, so there you, there you have it right here. Just got some Bitcoin, as easy as that. Now storing it on my ledger. And now I'm gonna show you guys 
how easy it is to add this to your MetaMask. So we're on Firefox. We're going to go to MetaMask right here. I'm going to type in my password and then we're going to go ahead and move. Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect hardware wallets. So you can see here, we just um, did it very easily connect to your ledger. And then we may or may not need to add the ledger asset or account on ledger live first, but uh, it's trying to read the ledger right now. So we, we might actually have to go to ledger live, go to accounts, add account quickly. We're going to have to add Ethereum, continue, um, and then I'll have to approve it on here. So it's checking app dependencies, app installation, processing. I'll have to verify that on this device as well. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll add that on MetaMask. So open, open app Ethereum. Ethereum is opening up and now we're basically adding Ethereum address to the ledger so that we can store it. So synchronizing and as easy as that, we now have an Ethereum address and we can collect ERC20 tokens and there's thousands of them and you can store them all on your ledger very securely. So we'll wait for this address to kind of pop up um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll add our ledger to MetaMask. So easy as that. Here's our Ethereum address. So let's go ahead to MetaMask. Let's restart this actually. Um, let's go ahead. Let's imp connect hardware wallet. Let's go ledger. We're going to take that off. And then looking for ledger. And our ledgers popped up. And we're going to take the first account. We're going to unlock that. And now you can see that uh, we have our main account on the computer. We have a treasure right here. And then we have a ledger. So you're not actually... Um, you know, sending funds to a MetaMask, you're actually just connecting your hardware wallet and it's using your Ethereum address uh, without ever exposing your private keys. So very safe to do to do so, to, to connect to your MetaMask, to trade Mint NFTs, you know, trade uh, in the DeFi space or whatever it may be. But now you can do it very securely uh, using a Ledger or a Trezor, any sort of hardware wallet. So I hope you guys had... Um, a lot of questions cleared up and you guys now know how to use a ledger hardware wallet to actually use it on live ledger or to use it on metamask so if you guys have any questions or want any specific hardware wallet or wallet tutorial post that below and i'll see you guys in the next video we're going to now reveal who won the thousand dollars and the actual ledger hardware wallet we're going to be giving away three ledger hardware wallets in this video so just comment your favorite coin and that you know a coin that you want to start uh hodling or stacking on the ledger and then we'll either send you a ledger or the equivalent in cryptocurrency so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any opportunities in our daily videos we'll see you guys tomorrow hey we're gonna be drawing the winners for the gleam competition that's a thousand dollars in Bitcoin and another winner for a ledger hardware wallet we're gonna give an additional three ledgers out all you have to do is comment your favorite cryptocurrency and we'll pick out three random comments and you'll win a ledger or equivalent of cryptocurrency uh, whatever you want so let's go and draw some winners two people are going to win one thousand uh, dollars in bitcoin right now and the winner is jamie nelson from usa and the hardware wallet goes to jose pintos so we'll announce the winners and uh, i'll reach out to their emails and congratulations